Hello, this is Chris from Broken Nib RC, and uh, today I'm going to put in this uh, Reefs 422HD version 2 servo winch. Uh, picked this up not too long ago and uh, needed to install it in my VS410 Pro. So we'll get started here in just a minute. I also have to um, replace my receiver. I've got a three channel receiver in the Pro. So I'm going to upgrade it to a five channel receiver uh, so I can operate the dig and everything else and make everything nice and happy. So anyway, that's it. Let's go. Well, all right. Well, we got that installed pretty painlessly. Um, just four screws that hold the servo in, of course, and then you put that in there and make sure you route your wire out. And I use the, uh, the cable that came with the kit. Um, fishing line probably work a little better, but uh, don't have any of that so there we go we're going with the cable in the kit which is actually very good uh, it's a very good cable and a very very nice hook uh, hooked that up and uh, went and put the new receiver in and bound everything up and uh, it works everything works <laughs> and I can't do this one-handed wow big surprise Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, if you want, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, I try to upload about one video a week uh, just to kind of keep it current. And uh, I have a little run, I'll put a little run video, a little one run video at the end of this one uh, just to see the winch working. But, um, you know, compared to the old days when you had to rework a servo winch and you made a a spool out of an old sewing machine bobbin and and got had to get all kinds of crazy line did that actually worked because a lot of it would break on the rocks almost immediately depending on where you went um, this is this is nice the 20th century is very cool <laughs> anyway that's it for this one hope you guys have a great day and take it easy bye Well, that kind of escalated quickly. Um, turns out I went to go test this servo and uh, everything browned up. So I couldn't have any steering. I, did, I didn't have any servo, any uh, winch servo even after a while. And uh, everything kind of crapped out. So <laughs> turns out I need a BEC. I have a um, RX4 in this thing and has an 8 amp BEC internally installed uh, but apparently I was drawing much more than 8 amps when you have a dig unit also and you've got three digital servos going on uh, basically high torque servos going on in the same rig you need a BEC <laughs> it was apparently it was drowning out that passing surpassing that 8 amp BEC in the internal uh, uh, RX4 so I ordered a, I ordered a BEC, obviously, uh, Castle 2.0, which is a 15 amp, and um, then the the question was, do I run everything off of the Castle, or split it up and run just the servo winch off the off the BEC off the Castle BEC? and uh, run everything else off the 8 amp internal BEC in the RX4 which kind of made more sense to me it seemed like it was it was much better to have a dedicated uh, BEC for the for the RX4 but uh, wiring it up was a little tricky because I had to go from from the output on the BEC straight to the winch on the RX4 on the um, RX4 on the uh, the servo winch so, uh, thanks to some help from Ty Campbell at Teakin uh, on Facebook, uh, kind of we did a little back and forth for a little bit, and um, kind of got it got it figured out, and it works just fine. It seems to work great. Um, there's a signal wire that goes through your programmer, your controller for the Castle Link off the BEC, and I basically have the outputs. Make sure that the out the power outputs go straight into the servo and not the radio, 
So um, all they have is the signal wire coming from the servo inch into the radio and the power wires go straight into the PEC. So I had to split that. I had to make a, a connector uh, basically for uh, to get the JST connectors to connect the power wires. So I kind of made one up out of a kit that I had. I had two uh, female connectors on it. Um, and uh, got that going. And then the, um, the signal wire that basically I can just leave loose. I don't have to plug that in. Uh, basically it's just to power the castle link. Uh, I'm sure it's not just to do that, but it has to be. Uh, just plugs the, uh, just so I can plug in the castle link and change the output on the BEC on the, on the castle. And uh, I've got, so now I have eight amps going to the dig servo and the steering, which it works just fine, worked fine before. And then the, um, the winch is powered straight off the BEC at 7.4 volts, uh, which is plenty, plenty, plenty. Uh, this will take up to 14 volts <laughs> output. So uh, you've got plenty of room to play with. And um, I don't think it's going to bury 15 amps, to be honest with you. It's, it's pretty rare. Um, I doubt it, unless I'm pulling a Toyota or something. Um, at any rate, uh, hooked it all up, kind of tried to clean the wiring up as best I could. Uh, got everything mostly cleaned up, um, clean enough to, to run. And uh, uh, the power output, I just tapped into the, tapped into the power on the RX-4 um, incoming. So and added a JST connector to that so I could disconnect it for service and that kind of thing. Um, and that's about it. And it works very well. Uh, so far, so good. I hooked everything up and it, it works great. Um, really, it's nice to have this winch at seven, seven and a half volts. So it's got plenty of power. Uh, the truck is kind of getting a little heavy to begin with. I like running heavy rigs anyway, so um, uh, it's got plenty of poop to, to, to get it up the rocks. And um, now we'll try again on a running video that actually runs. That'd be kind of nice. So uh, stay tuned. Be right back. I see. But did you interpret it that way? That one was as though someone else were saying it to you. The other one is though you 